Hey everyone, I'm Megan, and today I will be doing yet another thrift haul video if you're not tired of them yet. Um, well, stick around because I have more stuff for you. Um, I'll start by telling you what I am wearing today. Today I'm wearing this gray hat, which came from, of course, the Goodwill Outlet. Um, it's one of my favorite hats that I have found in a really long time. It just really fits perfectly. I like the shape of it. It has this great little detail. Um, I don't know. It's just one of my favorite, favorite pieces that I've found in a long time. I am also wearing this uh, butterfly t-shirt. It's just like a very, very simple shirt. It's like a purpley, heathered gray. And then the butterfly, what I like about it, if you can't tell, is it has kind of like a lacy feel. Like these look like doilies, I guess. Um... I actually traded someone on Instagram for this shirt a couple years ago, and I don't get enough wear out of it, even though I think it's adorable, so I just decided to put it on today for the video. Um, also, I am wearing no rings that I made today. These are all not mine. Um, this one is a mood ring from the 70s. That was my mom's. She passed that down to me. Uh, this is a owl ring. I love owls and since I was going with a butterfly for some reason I was like let's just do more animals and do an owl. I haven't worn this ring in literally years but now I'm like why haven't I worn it because it's really cute. Um, I think just because I saw so many people have it a few years ago but I think I got it at Charlotte Roost for like four or five dollars and he's just a cute little owl. Um, this is one that came from Forever 21 that I wear all the time. It's just this big copper stone. And then this black and silver one um, I got at a festival a year or so ago. Um, I think it was Sound Harvest or something like that was the festival, but I honestly cannot remember um, the name of the vendor. So I'm sorry about that. I wish I could tell you, but... It is just this really cool, intricate, I wish I could focus it better for you, um, silver with a big black stone. And I think it was just $5, which is like an amazing deal for somewhere like that. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into showing you some finds. Um, the first one is this black scarf, which is just like polka dotted. Um, it's almost kind of like a burnout effect, which I really love. And I just thought there was so much that I could do with this. Like, it just has so much potential. So I couldn't pass that up. It, of course, was about 25 cents. And I just thought I could wear it with so many things. So I got that. Um, the next thing I think is this really adorable little tank top. It's actually just from Forever 21. But I just, like, I love finding Forever 21 stuff at the outlet because... I hate to pay full price for it. I definitely will never pay, like, go in and pay $20 for this top. But um, for $0.25, cents, I will definitely pay that for this top because it's really cute. So, yeah, um, the colors are kind of weird today, showing up weird because of the lighting. It's so rainy out. But um, it's just gray. And this is actually, like, embroidery with, like, this blue and real, like, salmon-y pink. So I thought it was very cute. This is a really interesting piece. It's handmade and it's a dress and I think it's made out of a sheet and I totally love that. I wish I had the sheets to put on my bed. Um, it's just this really pretty kind of 70s almost floral and it is off the shoulder and it's kind of like a midi length. Um, I definitely have to belt it so that it doesn't look like I'm wearing a sack. But it's such a pretty print. Somebody made this, and I love the off-the-shoulder part of it. And for $0.25, cents, I thought it was a really, really good deal. This is one of my favorite things I have ever found. Um, it's vintage, but it's not old vintage. It's from... 94 95 so it's just barely squeaking into being vintage but it's a rolling stones tour shirt and i have never come across one before it does have some little holes in the top but to me that kind of just makes it better 
but then on the back it actually says like Rolling Stones World Tour 94, 95, Voodoo Lounge, um, and yeah, I love that. Um, I saw the Stones last summer, and it was like the literally one of the best shows that I've ever ever seen in my life. And I didn't get a shirt because they were like fifty bucks, which is insane to me. But this is like even better because it's old and it's from the '90s and it's like perfectly worn in. It's huge, and it was a quarter. So. Okay, this is a Target skirt, which I love finding Target stuff for a quarter because like Forever 21, I will never ever pay $20 or $30 for a Target skirt or top or whatever. But this one is really cute. I love that it's kind of like this desert westerny theme tone. Um, it's stretchy. It's really comfortable. It'll be great under a kimono this summer. So I thought that was a really cool find and I actually I can look tell you when it's from it's from 2014 but to me it doesn't look like it's 2014 it looks pretty recent so I like it this is just a little piece of lace that I found in one of the bins um you know if it'll focus on it but it's just really dainty little floral lace and I thought it would make like a good necktie or a choker um so it's really pretty and like definitely this would cost like at least three or four dollars probably if you went to the fabric store because it's like you know fairly long so but that was nice this is a really really basic little dress um it's from love peace hope and it's just like a floral kind of bodycon it's short and it's real tight but I thought it would be pretty underneath of something just like a tank dress so for a quarter I thought that was a really good layering piece this is another layering piece that I thought I would wear under I just have like so many kimonos and robes that are my favorite favorite things to wear but I always need like stuff to put underneath of them so um this is just a white lace dress short sleeved I thought it was really pretty it says that it is um yeah, it says it's a 3X, but there's no way this is a 3X. It fits me like a dress and like through the, I don't know if you can see the size, probably not, but um, like through the shoulders and the bust and stuff, there's just no way that it's a 3X unless it is like really, really drawn up. But I just thought it was really, really pretty and simple and would be great underneath of something. Um, on the topic of like kimonos and robes and stuff, I found this blue robe. It's sheer. It has this great detailing around the edges and it's maxi length. So I just thought it would be like such a pretty thing to wear. I don't know. There's just something about it that I thought was really, really pretty. I love the tone. Blue is kind of my color. So um, and it's vintage. So for a quarter, like I can't, just can't pass it up. This is a little top that's actually by Kato, which, um, you know, that's just like a super, super cheap brand. And normally I would not even go for it, even though I love sequins and sparkly stuff, but it's lace. It's ivory. Two of my favorite things. It has sequins, three of my favorite things. The thing that sold me on it, even though it was a quarter, has bell sleeves like pretty little trumpet bell sleeves so I could not leave this one behind I like kind of took me a while to decide and then I decided I needed it so I'm gonna pass that up for a quarter and I'm really glad that I got it because I love it this is one that I really like as well I really like pretty much everything in this haul I mean obviously I like everything that I buy but like I love love everything in this haul um, this is like a 70s vintage blouse and it just has such good colors. It's an amazing kind of like Western print. Um, the blue and like this like rusty brownish red. It's just, this is just everything to me. It buttons up. It actually, I don't have it right here in the video, but it does have like a tie that you can do around the waist. And I found the tie for it way before I found the shirt and I just grabbed it and was like, I'll wear this 
even as like a little necklace or something because I love the print so much. So when I saw that there was actually a shirt with it, I was so excited. This is another kimono thing. It is actually, again, a robe. Um, and this one is from Victoria's Secret, probably from the 90s. But I just loved the print. Like, I saw it and could not, I just, like, couldn't leave it there. I just thought it was beautiful, beautiful, big, floral, paisley um, print. It's maxi. It goes all the way to the floor. has pockets. has a tie with it. I actually wore this last night. I went to um, a little festival, Spew Fest, and there were tons of, like, local bands that I loved playing at a couple venues that we could just, like, walk between. And it, um, right now it's the end of February. You probably won't see this until like later in March or April, but it was, um, it had been a really nice day for February, like 70. And I was out like eating dinner and hanging out before the show and it was like perfect. But then when the sun went down, it got really chilly and we were like having to walk up and down the street. And this robe was so incredibly warm. I can't even tell you. It was like, burning up warm um like inside I was actually hot and outside it was perfect so I just thought it was beautiful and I like I can't even wait to wear this again I'm so obsessed with it okay just a few more things um this is just like this carpeted bag that I found and I just I fell in love with it I don't know um it's a really good size because it's not huge but it's not small I buy stuff like this sometimes, like these tote bags, and I, I'm like, I'll put my work in here and go to the park or whatever. I never do that. But I have to find a time to use this bag because it's beautiful. Okay. Um, this bag, first of all, okay, I know that like maybe two or three years ago, the style of satchel look was super popular. Um, I still like it because I think it's really classic. And this one is covered in silver glitter. And I love silver and glitter. And what else could you possibly want? This is 100% a children's bag. I don't know where it came from. It doesn't have a brand in there. But the strap is pretty short. And um, I opened it up and there was like a toy inside. So it's definitely like a little girl bag. But... I don't think people would necessarily think that it was, and I just think it's adorable. I wish it would focus a little better for you. Anyway, I love this one. For 25 cents, like, things like that is just, like, magic to me, because that will make an outfit. Okay, this is a really, really simple piece. It's Heritage 81, which is a Forever 21 brand. Um... And like I said, I would never pay full price for this because it was probably $25 or $27 or something. But it's just like a smocked little white dress. It's real, real simple. Definitely perfect for summertime. I may even just put this on my Depop. Um, it has pockets. I love the look of the sleeves because they're like um, pin tucked. And it's just really pretty and dainty and very very sheer and soft and just like a really really good gauzy little summer dress so if you happen to be in love with this one let me know because I definitely would let it go just a couple more things this little um it's just like a makeup bag or something or whatever you want to use it for it was probably an evening bag because it has the two little things here but doesn't have a strap but it's just vintage um I love tapestry things I think it's so beautiful I have sold several things that had this kind of a motif um like cigarette cases and stuff like that and I just think this one is really really pretty I don't know yet if I'm going to keep it or sell it but um if you're in love with it let me know because I just think it's a really special little little bag um, very similar, but this is a tapestry motif kind of 70s bag. It does definitely have some wear. Um, it's just like kind of coming, not undone, but the stitching is, is fraying. But I just think it's really, really beautiful. I love it. Um, 
I can't wait to, to take this one out. It's in good condition inside and maybe even handmade. A lot of these with these kind of wooden handles, that was like a thing that people like to do. So, no, I just thought it was beautiful. And it's black, which you don't see a lot of these kinds of things in black. They're usually like blue or um, white or something, but I just thought it was really cool and unique. And the last thing is this vintage 70s maxi dress, which I fell in love with. It's this like gingham plaid print with like brick rack all over it. I thought it was handmade at first, but it's not. But it's just so cool. The top is plaid like gingham. It's long sleeved. And then the bottom is this blue plaid, but it has this cool patchwork tulip print all over it. And it's just, just perfection. Like, who would not want to wear that? It's such a good, like, cool dress for, like, fall when you can still be outside without a coat. Like, maybe, I don't know, I'm picturing it for, like, lunch dates or something. Um, but it's just beautiful. Like, I can't believe that people give these things away. Um and that I find them for a quarter. Sometimes I just think I'm the luckiest person because I find the coolest things and it makes me so happy to like get to give them life and wear them and like play with them, put them all together. And like, I just, I love to play dress up. I've always loved to dress up. And so it's like a really special thing to me to get to find pieces like that. And I know I am definitely a bit of a clothes hoarder, but it's like, I love each of my pieces like so much and they just like mean so much to me that I don't know I can't I can't stand apart with them so yeah that was what I have found recently definitely all of that stuff was less than about a quarter a piece so I don't know how many that was but five or ten dollars max not probably not even that much I'll put that on the blog um if you want to check out the blog, I like to include pictures of everything that I am thrifting. So you can scroll along as I'm talking and see a better photo of the thing that I'm telling you about. Um, so my blog is phantasmagoriainrags.com. Um, so you can find that. And if this is a new video, it should be the very first post. And then underneath of it, you'll just find all the photos. So be sure to visit the blog and uh, follow along there. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe i will have some more thrifty finds for you soon